DMC DM6, created by Tim Mullitz and known in Quake as the Dark Zone, is my second favorite uh, Quake map behind uh, Bad Place. It's also very small. It's got every weapon. Uh, this one has a very looping feel to it, though, so that's pretty cool. Not much to say. I'm going to jump in right away. So it's interesting that the map starts me out here because this room's a little bit interesting, but I'll get into why in a second. So the thing is, you got Rocket Launcher and Omega Health here, so if you spawn here, you're in good hands. And you got the Teleporter here. Now the Teleporters work in a very particular way, as you see here. I'm going back to the same place every time, regardless of which way I enter in. So keep that in mind, it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, but we'll talk about the room we were just in a moment ago. As you can see here too, there's another- this is a central area here. And you could come in, and yeah, it's really... It's a loop, basically. It's a loop. It kind of circles in, so like, if you keep walking around, you'll eventually come to every different room. So yeah, if you're in the center room, grab here for the useless nail gun, as I've already made my feelings on that clear in another video. Uh, you can take the teleporter here, which leads you to this room again, which leads you back to here. So you see what I'm saying? The, the teleporters are very particular. So yeah, there you go. I don't, I don't really need to keep demonstrating it to you, because I'm sure you have a brain cell and you can learn. Uh, yeah, this is interesting, though, because if you whack this, uh, it opens up. You can shoot it, too. And this is how you can get the lightning gun and the invincibility, and another teleporter, which will lead you back to this room, which will lead you back to this room, which will lead you back here. I'll shut the hell up, I swear. I just, I just it's, I find it funny. So anyway, let's go this way first, because why not? By the way, do note that any someone up here could be firing down at you, so you got to be careful if you're on the lower level. Grab the rocket launcher and the double barrel shotgun. We'll keep going this way, and like I said, there you go, bam! It's kind of a, it's kind of like a ring. This one leads to a different area, though, as you can see. We'll take this one real quick. If you come from this loop, it said you get to the, uh, that one room I couldn't shut up about, and this is a little spawn area here. So if you spawn, you're not immediately getting shot at. Although someone is, if you hide out here, gonna find you. Uh, this one doesn't loop back on the bottom floor, uh, which will I'll show you here. It does loop up up here, though. Keep that in mind. So if you're in this room, grab the armor, grab the super nail gun. Awesome. And you come up instead, and you loop back over here instead. Which, it, the loop, it comes like the loop keeps going, though, because this is that upper area I brought up a moment ago. From this upper area here, you could be shoot like, doing that shooting down I was talking about a moment ago. You can also start out here, and if you start out here, come out and grab the red armor. Always good. Grab some supplies, which are not, ma there are not very many supplies in this map. And there you go. That actually is sort of the whole map. Uh, as you can see, so I want to just bring special mention to this top area here. The engineer's gonna fuck me up. There we go. Grab the grenade launcher. I didn't really bring that up too, that, which could be helpful. But I wouldn't recommend hanging out up here for too long. Even if you have the high ground here, you know, it's just best to keep moving, I would say. Though, take the advice of a pro player over me any day because I don't know shit. And yeah, really, that is the whole map. It's got a very particular groove to it that, you know, a lot of people seem to enjoy. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's check it out. It also goes without saying, too, that if the server's pretty busy, you might want to be care like, wary of standing right in front of the teleporter. Because, you know, tele getting telefragged is always a, you know, concern. I would imagine, too, in, uh, lesser, like, you know, like, like, matches with fewer people in them, you know, someone's probably gonna try to hang around here at all times so they can keep grabbing the mega health. I don't know how professional play works too much, but, you know... That seems like a viable strategy, though, though. I can imagine you gotta be careful if you're gonna do that. You know, there's always splash damage from grenades and rocket launchers to watch out for. You know what? It would make this even better if, like, the teleporters were, like, in Duke 3D. Where you could, like, shoot the rockets through them. Like, that's actually something you could do. I know in Faces of Death, one of the multiplayer matches there, people like doing that, so that's pretty cool. Oh, well. Is it me or the Super Shotgun a little bit weaker here than it is in base quake like I, I don't know i've always maybe it's just my bias for like you know how the super shotgun is in quake and like how much i played that and i'm just maybe a slightly better player at that but i can't get the feeling that you know this just feels a little just ever so slightly weaker here i'm probably wrong though but you know something my brain tell is telling me otherwise so yeah the bad place is freaking this isn't the bad place never mind 